had a client that I had banned today. You be acting like somebody was calling her, like something was going on and was like running about the dope. So, but she posting her nails and stuff like, you know. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ryan. If you're not new, welcome back. So this is a different type of video, y'all. I just wanted to get on here and just kind of talk to y'all and tell y'all what happened to me today. And let y'all know that if this happened to you, like what to do, you're not tripping, you know, this type of thing. So, I know I look a little crazy. I just finished a client. I got one more. So, I got to kind of hurry. But I want to get this out. Like, I want to do this right now because I'm not going to have time later. So, let's get into it. All right, y'all. So, I had a client that I banned today. You can fire your clients, y'all. I don't know if y'all ever heard that term, but I fired a client today. Yeah. <laughs> she can never come back. So, I'm going to tell y'all why not. So, she came to me about a year ago. Um, It was her birthday or whatever. Um, she was a squeeze in appointment and she like um was a mutual friend of one of my friends. Okay. So um she asked me could I do her birthday nails, nails and toes, and I was booked up bad. But because like, you know, me, I'm like, okay, well, and then like my friend was vouching for, I was like, you know, you know, or letting her know how good my work is. So she was like really in my ear about coming. So I let her come. Um she was one of my, I put, I let her come like after my last client of the day. So I'm staying up extra late. This is when I was still working on my house. She wanted these extravagant nails, y'all. She even got designs on her toes. And at this time, like I really wasn't doing designs on toes. Like now I do, but I really was just doing like friendship toes and stuff like that. So she got designs on her toes and her nails, y'all. If I, put, if I show y'all her nails, y'all gonna be like, yes. So they was fired. Um, like hand drawn art, multiple designs on every finger. They was really nice, y'all. I might show y'all. I don't know yet. And it toes. So anyway, cool. She loved her nails, loved her toes. She was calling everybody during her appointment, showing them throughout the process. Like, look, she eating this up. So it wasn't like she didn't like them. She loved them. I loved them. Everybody who I, when I post them, everybody loved them. Cool. So it's time, you know, I'm done. It's time for her to pay. So, number one red flag, I'm going to say this. And, like, this might not have nothing to do with it, but just, like, throughout the entire appointment, like, I don't know. Never mind. I'm not even going to say that. I'm not even going to say that. I'm not even going to say that. But, anyway, so, cool. So, it's time to pay. So, she was, like, um, somebody else was paying for her, her nails. I really don't care as long as I get my money. You know what I'm saying? So, she Apple paid me. And she was acting like, it's what she did. She tried to play me like somebody was calling her like it was an emergency. So she like, as soon as I finished like putting oil on her feet, like taking pictures, she acted like somebody was calling her like something was going on and was like running about the door. So she was like, I sent it, I sent it. Like she's literally running out the door. So I'm like, okay. Cause like at this time in my nail career, I've never had nobody try to play with me or run off. And y'all remember this run off term. Okay. Remember that term. So I don't have nobody try to run off on me. So she left. I checked my phone. It was not what she owed me. I really can't remember what numbers because, like I said, this was over a year ago. Cool. So um, I texted her her number and I was like, "This not what you owe me." She like, "Okay, cool. I'm gonna send it." That the rest of the night had went by. I never got my money. So I DM her the next day because mind you, y'all, her birthday was the either that evening or the next day or whatever. I I never heard from her that whole next day. So, but she posting her nails and stuff. Like, you know, tagging me in her outfit and stuff. It's like, but you didn't even finish paying me. So I slid up on her story and I'm like, you know, I didn't have no add to the body, but I was just like, I never got the rest of my money. You know, don't forget to seal, like send it to me. So she was like, oh, I sent it um, yesterday. So I'm like, on what? And she was like, Zell, through Navy Federal. And I'm like, I didn't ever get no, no, um, so I'll go back and check and make sure. But you know, like when, if anybody does Zelle, it sends you a text message every time you get money. So I didn't get, never get a text message. I went back to my bank transactions to make sure I wasn't tripping. Didn't have nothing from her. So I text, I said, screenshot it, you know, show me. So she sends me a screenshot of like the, the main page of her Zelle and, that that was the number one thing you shouldn't did because it didn't even you know how it just show you the recent like hit like recent who you just sent money to like it, my name wasn't even on there my number wasn't even on there and she was like um 
she made some excuse and was like, oh, I tried to send it and it was like send a, a lesser amount. She was like, can I send on something else? So my thing was, that's how I knew you was lying. You sent the the first time you tried to pay me was on Apple Pay. And now you and then you like, oh, you said the rest on Zelle, but it wouldn't let you send. So so you you do you understand what I'm saying? Like catch your catch catch your lies. You did, you told me you sent it yesterday. Now you're 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 saying that it said it said that it's telling you you can't send this much money. So can you send or something else? And I, I said, well, send it the the way you said it the first time like stop trying to play in my face cool got the money anyway got the money cool i blocked her from booking that that i blocked her her like you know i blocked her so that's my text me i blocked her from booking so recently and then mind you like she would always like dm me and be like you know sending me stuff that she want me to do and i'm just like girl Literally, you know, I will never do your nails again. Never. That's what I'm, and that's what I'm saying this whole time. Like, bro, like, you will not get the opportunity to play in my face again. So, she, um, recently, probably within the last month, she booked again on my website. So, sometimes, y'all, like, sometimes, like, just now, I've seen that somebody booked. But sometimes, I don't be on my phone like that to be looking and see every person that's booked an appointment. Sometimes I don't even know who's coming until the day before when I'm sending out confirmation text. You get what I'm saying? So it probably was like me going through my schedule and I saw her name. And I'm like, I know I'm not tripping. So boom, she booked and used either a different phone number or either she, instead of putting like her last, her whole last name, she just put like an initial. So like the website didn't really catch it. So I'm like, okay. So at this point, I think it was like two days before that I realized that she had booked an appointment. Now I'm in the shop and everything, you know, this is like a year later. So me, again, being nice and I'm, again, I'm kind of looking at it like, okay, you got your money, but it's like, you kind of, you had to like chase behind her to get your money and I don't like that. Don't have me running behind you to get, when you, when you owe me something, don't have me running behind you because you didn't have to run behind me to do your nails. So... I'm kind of getting mad again because like this fresh like this happened today so well the new stuff happened today so boom so she um i didn't cancel this so this is the second time she's booking upon me i didn't cancel on her i let her come cool she came of course you know she got designs on her nails and her toes you know she that's that's her usual well, and i'm not mad at you i like i love doing matching nail toe sets actually it's really fun and cute so when it was time to pay, and like I was telling my mom, my mom was like, you know, you might need to get your payments up front. And I don't know, like me personally, like if I go to a service provider, they want their money like before they even do me. I don't know. They're kind of like, mm. so I really wasn't like, you know, my heart is, when she told me that, I was like, you're right, but I, did, I, I didn't like, you know, take her up on the, what she said, take her up on her advice. So she came, got her nails and her toes done. So when it's time to pay, she acting like she don't got no service. She can't send no money. Yeah, at this point, I done been in my suite going on four, going on five months now. March, April, May, June, July. Okay, so this is the fourth month. So she came last month. I've never had nobody. I have people sending me through Cash App, Apple Pay, Zelle, PayPal. And I've had so many clients come through here. And everybody probably got different service providers. I'm not saying everybody stuff the same. I'm not saying everybody phone the same or whatever. But I've never had nobody tell me that they don't have no service and they cannot send me no money up in here. Never. So she's sitting up here talking about something. She don't have no service. She can't send the money. She was on the phone the entire y'all. I gotta get <laughs> Y'all, she was on the phone the whole time. Like it wasn't like, oh, I can't hear you breaking up. It like scrolling on her phone, but now you don't got no service. So, mind you, too, she ran me into my next appointment. So, my new, my next client is sitting waiting on me. So, and like like witnessing all this. So, I told her, I said, um, I told my, my next client, I said, hold on, I'm going downstairs with her. Because it, I don't trust you. You And remember the time I said, run off. You're not about to run off on me again. And me have to text you about my money, y'all. So, I go downstairs with her, y'all. Now, keep in mind, you didn't have service. In my head, 
if you didn't have service and that was the only reason keeping you from paying me, as soon as we went downstairs and we was outside, then the money would have sent, right? I kid you not, I was downstairs waiting a good six to 10 minutes, sitting there, looking at her. And she outside the doors, I'm sitting inside the lobby of my building, on sitting on the couch. I kid you not, y'all, I was sitting out there almost 10 minutes, waiting on her to send me my money. That's how I knew it was some games again. Because if you, if it was just, you didn't have no service, we would have been out there three minutes tops, tops. Money would have been sent. Cool. So I blocked. So after that appointment, whenever she just put her first name in the initial, I blocked that too. Today, she booked an appointment and I didn't see it again until yesterday. So I, and I was kind of late sending my confirmation text, not going to lie, that was on me. So I'm, you know, going through and I'm like, I know my eyes are not deceiving me because there's no way this girl is on my books again. There's no way it's going to be And me personally, that's embarrassing. Like if it's always something with you, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't even feel comfortable coming to me no more because like, I, I'm going to talk about you. Well, so she booked for a acrylic tall refill. So as soon as I seen this, first thing on my mind was to cancel her stuff. And I was going to refund her deposit and be like, you know, I'm not service you again. And like me personally, y'all, with my business, I don't want no confrontation. I really just handle things smooth, professionally. That's why I just went ahead and blocked her from booking it and was hoping that it would have been that the site just don't let her book. But that wasn't the case. So this time around, she didn't even leave no phone number. So I guess that's how it slipped through the site. It was no phone number phone number to detect with the name or whatever. So I guess it could have been like, oh, somebody else had that same first name, but no phone number to whatever. I don't know if that's, I don't know. So she didn't even leave a phone number. So I texted her and I, so I canceled the appointment. As soon as I can cancel the appointment, she's calling my phone. She called my phone twice. I didn't answer because I'm in the middle of like texting you. So I sent, I refunded her deposit through PayPal. I screenshot the refund and I sent it to her. And I told her, you know, and I'm recording my phone right now, so I can't. So I said, I can't um, read the message to y'all, but I screenshotted her through the refund confirmation. I told her, I said, you know, hey, um, because she texted me, she's like, I just want to know why my appointment is canceled. I said, hey, I refunded your deposit. I said, I just feel as if every time you book with me, there's an issue with payment. And I don't feel comfortable with you coming and it be another issue. I don't want to be bothered with that. And to be honest, I just like, I didn't, I didn't say all this in the message, but this is just how I'm feeling. I don't want to look at my schedule and see somebody's name and dread having to service them. I love doing nails. I keep checking time because I got another client. Okay. I love doing nails. I don't want to have to come to work and be dreading seeing somebody i just want to service you period so i text her that so she's like um and I, I let her know this is not i'm not just doing this because of the last time i'm doing this because of both times it's been an issue both times like fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me and that was really my fault for even letting her come the second time but this time around i'm not playing that with you so she was like i didn't have service how that's my fault and i let her know like Maybe maybe you didn't have service. Maybe you didn't have now we're gonna just tell her just bring cash, but then that would be my mind. Look, she would have come with not enough cash and it's like, oh well, you I don't know. People like that, y'all, it's just like mm -mm. so I just don't trust you. I don't wanna service you. I don't. So she was mad or whatever, of course, you know. Um, was telling me that nobody's gonna do her feed because you know my work is on them. At this point, I really just didn't care, honestly. Like, at this point, I really just didn't care. You know, I let her know that you know this is my business, I don't like no confrontation. I want I like to handle everything professionally. Now, I could have just canceled it and I sent her deposit back and then blocked her or something. People do that, people do that. I didn't do that. I refunded your deposit and I let you know why. I let you know why, but. Sometimes y'all, you gotta cancel. You got not cancel. You have to ban clients. Like people that come in and disturb your peace or just make you uneasy, you do not have to service them. You have the right to refuse service from people, y'all. So that's the story time. I just wanted to come on. <laughs> I just wanted to tell y'all, like, because I feel like a lot of people don't say the ups and downs of you know being a service provider, being a nail tech in general. Everybody's always glorifying the good stuff, but it comes with some downsides too. Now they do. So. 
if you're basically in this video y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation like y'all feel like i was right y'all feel like i was wrong y'all feel like i should have given another chance even though if you do feel like i should have given another chance i really don't care because i wasn't given another chance but just leave a comment tell me you know what y'all think how y'all feel about that but um and let me know if you had like a no a similar experience and you've had to do what i had to do you know so Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I gotta kind of hurry, hurry up and set up for my next client, but I will be back. I told y'all I'm back on regular scheduled programs. I want to come with vlogs and I'm gonna come with nail content and I also want to come with crochet content. So this not this video won't be much to edit. So hopefully this will be up like either tonight or tomorrow. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I love y'all so much.